Brad Underwood talked about how they worked on getting Georgie on the outside all year. Big block by Coburn. Milan are feeling themselves now. Number zero, Alan Griffin, and number 32, Tucker Underwood. For Trent Frazier and Andres Felipe. Rimo tried to give it back to him, but Shanishvili denied it. So Rimo will take Bishanishvili into the post, and Coburn gets another, his second consecutive block. Well, the players will adapt. As it gets called, you know, Stansbury will learn not to go down um, until he's completely clobbered and has to go down. Here's Coburn back in the game. So I asked Brad Underwood, you know, what's the deal with Georgie moving more to the four this year because of that young man and his skills? And he said he's been really good with it, but he played the four in high school. Here's Harris, got an open look at three. And the struggles continue outside. Good position, though, by Reed, and he's rejected by Coburn. Five pounds and about nine inches in height. Well, Reed did an excellent job of creating position there, but it's... Now for Ben Stanley. Hanging in the air, missed it with the left hand. Bishanis Philly with the rebound. Pushed ahead by Felice Coburn. Two-hand flush. And the Lions are not going to have the size in the paint to combat Coburn and Bashanis Philly. Felice, kick out to Frazier, open three is good. Coming over to Lindenwood after seven years as an assistant coach at Central Michigan. Crockett fumbled the ball in the paint, up ahead, Coburn. Likes can really get the ball in. He is a great layup shooter. Coburn at the rim with a hammer. But earlier in this possession, great post defense. Who's going to shoot? High low and the stuff for Coburn. I mean, Coburn has not, uh, eight of the 20 for Illinois so far. And really good vision by Vashon is really a little confusion. I was just, it's like George Costanza opposite day. I was just talking about. And if Nichols is going to screen the top man, he's got to screen the left shoulder of number 11. Oh, Coburn with a mammoth slam. <laughs> Handoff to Feliz, able to keep the dribble alive from one knee. Coburn with four to shoot the right hand hook. That's his go-to right now. Love the right jump hook. Still breaking down what they're going to do right now. Well, that's an interesting thing as Coburn gets it right away and throws it down with two hands. That was a good conversation, clearly, as it led to that two-hand dunk. Yeah, so it's a situation where you're going to probably get hit by the screen. And here you see Isle come across. He's trailing, he's trailing. There's the rip protection. That's exactly what you want. You know, you're going to have all kinds of close games down the stretch, and being a great free throw shooting team is such a big asset and such an advantage. What a look inside to Coburn. Great drop-off pass by Desumu. Easy chance for Coburn. Just had a really rough start. Yeah, and you had the great win, obviously, here a couple weeks ago against the top-five team in Michigan, and oh, pretty impressive play there by Cameron Nichols to make up for that travel. It's to Harms, not to be. Coburn really had him worried about that. Feliz with another opportunity. Coburn! Watch out rim. Throw it down, big fella. Who's battled foul trouble all night. Coburn over Reavers. That's, my oh, that's just a big time move. Drives, got blocked away by Griffin. And Spencer's going to be the one to reset everything. Getting the ball screen from Ryan Young, taking it inside, dishing it off the barrel. What a block, Coburn. Third, team Great recovery here from Kofi. Uh, yeah, you've had a good game, Robbie, and not now. <laughs> so seven one long arms, paying dividends. Shooting two. pass Coburn scores with a foul now that will get Wheeler on the bench more than a turnover that makes the stat sheet a little more Ooh. even what a throw down by Coburn to Sumo with the pass hey don't be late in help you get late in help Stefanovic coming over no no you're late three game losing streak Tends to find a defensive look there's Kofi Coburn got pushed chance for a three-point play right out of the shoot <laughs> 
Earl Walton just warned the shot is Billy. Oh, what a block. Beer got swatted away by Kofi Coburn. Well, a lot of back and forth action. Demir thinks he's got it. We're doing that so far this evening. A nice ball game as Coburn goes right down low. Gets the foul. Chance for three. Deshumu into the lane. Can't get it to go, but Coburn throws down the jam. That was, uh, reminds me of a Lou Pinella story. Went out to talk to a struggling pitcher on the mound who was walking the house as Coburn scores. Good luck, Andres Feliz up top. Three's off the mark, Coburn. The rebound, up and under against two defenders and one. The strength, but also the polish finish for the freshman. Such a big guy, look at him just clear out legally, uses the dribble, pump fake and power. Here he gets it back, and has it knocked away. Again, and a single pops out with it. This 300 pounds, seven feet, running down the floor, catch and finish. Five to shoot. Dosumo covered, beating the horn. Now, I want our viewers to understand that don't get caught up on the records. This Nebraska team is very competitive. Played very well in the road. Deshaun Burke had it swatted away there. Feliz. Now Coburn worked it on Young and Coburn going to that hook. Kofi's been great. And a good job by Devontae Green of coming down and kind of chipping on Coburn to help out Trace Jackson Davis with that block. Whoa. Speaking of block, second block for Coburn. Indiana hasn't had a field goal in almost five minutes. Coburn makes sure that that drought continues. To score or to eliminate your opportunity to score on the other end. You have to get your shoulder into him regardless of the end of the floor that that young man finds himself. Wesson decided not to on the three and Nichols got in there. Because he was in help side early. Luca Garza is going to fall into his 20 point game. He does it every night out. Those two guys have to be living. <laughs> One more at the line off the feed from Dosubu. A wonderful job by Coburn of establishing himself here early. Boy, the response after kind of a subpar performance at Ohio State. Looking for Garza. The lob. Until Friday at the Big Ten Tournament, they're the four seed with the double bye. And again, outstanding off the ball defense by Illinois. They once again were trying to free up a jump shooter, but they were able to navigate. They still got a pretty good look to guard. And it was Trent Frazier again, Kevin. They were trying to get the ball to C.J. Frederick in front of the bench at the top of your screen. But Frazier was able to navigate, taking away that opportunity. Good decision by the trigger man. Demonte Williams, short, Coburn. Boy, he is just too big in there, Steven. You see the size advantage he has over the Aggies. Type of talent he has. Watch him on the offensive rebound. Strong. Clears a little bit of space in that jump hook. Excellent jump. Thankfully able to stay out on the floor. But that was the first three-pointer that A&T has hit in the ball game. And then Kofi Coburn with the answer. He joins the double figures party. When he really didn't even need to show up to practice because the guys knew the system so well. That's right. And, and you get older. Oh, good. Oh, my. Kofi Coburn again. Eight points early for Ohio. Tough catch and shoot. And the rebound to guess who? Devontae Williams from the guard position. The Sumu lobbing inside for Coburn and a two-hand stop. Really forced a, a tough attempt that time. Fighting over screens. Here's Coburn against Foster. Bulling his way to the bucket and he'll get an and one. Hey, Michigan State, who just won in Cameron Indoor Stadium last night, is projected to be the number four team. What a block by Coburn. 
But we're seeing some great shot fakes in this game. Up top and slamming it home is Coburn, the assist to Curbelo. Coburn just in that dunk spot. Illinois by four. If you want to slow down the Illini, you got to keep the big fella out of the dunk spot. If you're Minnesota, Minnesota fan, or even us, you hate to see a kid struggle like this. Curbelo dishes to Coburn, and he dunks right on top of Robbins. Keep saying it, Dave. Young big kids. I don't care if you can't dunk and you're in eighth grade. Best jump. Best jump gets you and ones and gets you buckets. And then you can go to the party and dance. Well, he slid a little bit in setting the screen. That's his second personal, by the way, which could be key. We'll see how much he plays as Colburn goes bulldozing by for two. Yeah, he can't handle Colburn. There's Dredd. Not in trouble. Got rid of it to Lundy. Seth Lundy weaving inside. Coburn says no. Kofi playing both ends, including the D. Impacting this game on both ends of the floor right now. Curbelo, the wraparound to Coburn for the two-hand hammer. That was pretty. We still have 364 more days before you got to cancel it. And Coburn defensively again. Dosumu. They were missing in their last game in the loss against Rutgers. That was 81 to 76, oh, okay. and they lost that game. And Coburn taking one on four to the basket. Late shot clock, top of the arc. That's a long two, and another miss for the Boilers. Little alley oop inside, beautifully executed. Curbelo finding Coburn and Matt Painter. Of putting scoring runs on you, the big fella being rewarded for running the floor. Excellent look. And here you see the 3-2 zone. You, we knew Northwestern was going to mix up the defenses that they played. And that mixed up Northwestern a little bit as Kofi Coburn on a beautiful feed. If you're Northwestern, you can't allow the Illini to go on a run. That three could have started it. Coburn with the offensive rebound, the put back, and maybe a three-point play the old-fashioned way. Loud in that locker room because here's an old-fashioned three-point play. Again, you've got to rebound as a group. Here's Galen Smith looking to take Kofi Coburn off the bounce. Coburn receiving that with the one-handed flush. And not only that, Chris Holtman is, to this point, has figured out how to navigate without two point guards on the floor. There's the dump down to the big fella, Coburn. And Frederick Grandison with a nice look. Start it off and finish it off. And that's just a, a better pass. Attention being paid to Kofi Coburn. Last five games, he's heating. Trying to attack the rim, but Coburn able to reject Hera. They get it going. John Hera going upstairs. Coburn denying. When you get a chance to play against one of the nation's best, you elevate. Oh, Garza got hung up on the rim that time. Got past Coburn, and here's Dosumo in the open floor. All the way in to end for the two. Coburn, great position. Missed it again, and this time dunks it home with a foul. <laughs> oh boy. Seven nothing run. Illinois hadn't scored in four minutes. We've had 18 fouls called in the first 12 minutes of this half. Coburn, nice move, another dunk with a foul. I don't think they talk about that enough when you talk about Coburn. You talk about his dunking. You know, his size running the floor, but defensively and offensively, he's not bad either. An excellent feed from Dosuba. I know this sounds crazy of his, of his foot speed, but he, he has better foot speed over Coburn. Oh, Whoa. what a spin by Kofi using leverage to spin off Reavers. He's got six. Anything you can do, I can do better, says Kofi Coburn. Does a great job getting the dribble above the block and then the spin move. And the Huskers stretch the lead back to six. And shooting 19% from behind the line on the year. Sumu the lob to Coburn. The inch of the two-hand flush. First point. Got the three-point shooting with his ability to use a fan dribble here. Good job by DeSumo putting up high where only Coburn. You know, really not a whole lot of discernible evidence there. So a three-point lead after the two. Dosumu. Williams in the corner. Oh, what a two-hand flush.
53 to 13 to win it by 25. Over the top, Coburn, too much for Young. Jacob Grandison with a great cut. Here's him just pushing up Ryan Young right up that lane line. Grant, I'm going to go back years ago. Here in Williams Arena, Illinois was coming in under Bill Self to win an, uh, ooh, a Big Ten title. Frank Williams. And here comes Mashburn Jr. And Coburn recovering for the rejection. Boy, look how fast I don't get. Whoa! Oh, that was pretty. No, we're covering basketball, right? But watch the track. It, it can't be taking plays off. Every possession has to be a priority. Coburn, big rebound, muscles it up and in. You saw the strength of Kofi right up through the contact. Right there. One of the two here. Trevello. Up top! Wow! What a feed! Curbelo to Kofi! Ten standout from Kermato Owners Insurance. I mean, the hook pass, nowhere to put it, to where only Kofi Coburn could go get it. You see the athleticism and ability. Oh, Williams didn't think shot. Coburn does as he stuffs it all. Picking up the slack for the injured Desumu. Keeping the ball on a string. Now into Coburn. And about the best position he's had all night, Jay. And it pays off. A double team. And Coburn. Second effort plus the foul. Hey, you're talking a seven-footer. I mean, that tells you how good that conference is. When Michigan State under 500 can go in there. You can't let that ball in that easily. They're getting the ball inside early in this game. Colbert, too easy. Watch this entry right here. He's in good post position. He's got good footwork. And he goes up strong. I said earlier. Dosumu with the three. And that one rolls off. Colbert, one arm rebound. One arm finish. I mean, this is this is more lazy, Johnny. I mean, somebody better check on uh, Caleb McConnell. We got in the mix down there. Well, I'm, I'm kind of surprised. He and DeCorey got kind of mixed, kind of tangled up there. Nick Kofi Coburn likes having a lot of fans in the building. Oh yeah, they, they're fired up. As Grant mentioned, also they put it on the deck too. Playing a little bit hurt inside. I think Garza just had to back away because there was no stopping that. Opens it up for the big guy. They slip. Coburn with three baskets already. Good. Everything he does has a little sauce on it. It's on it. Oh, it's oh, it's it's just like that. And one. Oh. Everybody gets to the rim. Frederick Clark, a very intelligent play. Two cover, one and racking it up. Over. Go at it. He walked. Able to pick it back up. No call. Drop step. There you go. And one. You know what that timeout was about. Some physicality. You know, Cincinnati has just played harder. After the first run of this game, Cincinnati has played a lot harder. Just tougher. <laughs> Williams is in the starting lineup tonight a three from the left corner off the mark but an offensive rebound by Coburn trying to back down easy egg who goes to the right hand scores and one and here he gets the offensive rebound why because he was a good passer out of the post initially and then goes up strong again well, Illinois shot three of 22 from beyond the arc last night so did K-State Coburn down low he was a great elite athlete and, and really effective getting to the rim. You saw him make, you know, make a three there, too. That's a, like I said, that's that's dangerous if he can hit the outside so, shot, too, because he's so good going to the going to the basket. And there, Kofi Coburn. Of a record that you're a co-holder of here in <laughs> Illinois, eight three-pointers made in a game. Somehow that's still standing, and it, I, I wouldn't be shocked if, if Alfonso Plummer, sometime this season, maybe tonight, breaks it. Down to 10 for Illinois and DeMonte Williams. Plummer the drive, and Coburn the finish. Line 
but his reputation well known by these Notre Dame guards. The closeout is high, the dump down is there. Jones late on the rotation and nobody home for Rutgers. On the drive, Coburn with the rejection. Hawkins has it, feeds forward Frazier. Well, Illinois began three out of 11 from the floor. They're now nine of 11. That's rejected. Saved to the Illini. It's an NCAA tournament tune-up. They know they're playing several levels up right now. How many teams in the Northeast Conference can do that? In Watch DeMonte Williams, his patience here, and then throwing it up high away from the defender. Kofi Coburn cleans it up there pretty easily. Defensively, one of the best times a shoot a three is off a offensive rebound. You know, typically it's inside out. There's a lob up to Kofi Coburn. Nice speed by, from Trent Frazier, and also a great job of attacking the pressure. Coburn back on the floor. Look at that position. He got inside. One more chance at the line for Kofi Coburn. You know it was beautiful, Kevin. He caught the ball and he passed fake. Kane wants to help the defender leave on the pass fake. That's a beautiful play by Kofi Coburn. They lose to Arizona, which to me is one of the top three teams in the country. Uh, really close down the stretch. Uh-oh. Oh, Coburn! Now where's number one, telling everybody he's back for one more go around in his Golden Gopher oh. career. Colbert muscles inside, it'll count and one. Coach Underwood has a love affair with those two guys because they bought into what he was bringing to the situation. Return to sender there from Colburn. that's a volleyball spike. Now Kofi. Kofi's just sitting there waiting. And... Frazier, the kick out, Hawkins for three. Coburn, the follow. Oh, oh my God. God! Oh wow! Ends up happening. Kofi gets the offensive foul on the rebound. You got to get this man the ball. Love the offensive possession. Thought it was good, but right until the last second. Kofi Coburn left alone, punishes the rim. Jeff, the best post move. It's not shocking they've struggled from outside, but they've been counting on Caleb Houston for more than he's given them, especially shooting threes. That's a block from Coburn. Here is Curbelo. Whips it into the corner for Demonte Williams. Kofi Coburn back into the game and he slams it in. Ivy wants it this time. He don't want to give it to Williams on the block. <laughs> he wants his turn. Loses it. Curbelo one on two. Andre Curbelo! One of the great three point shooting teams in the country. Inside look. Coburn Ooh. punishes the rim. Got Robbie Barron on the poster at halftime. With dunks like this. Well, it's a, a great read by Frazier. Coburn's got to go. Fadeaway jumper. Is Johnny Davis. He can do it all. And as we've seen, so can this guy. Double team. Kofi just battles and muscles right through. Really well over the last four. Scoring it, spreading it around. Xavier, Xavier Johnson playing extremely good basketball. Kofi Coburn for two and a foul. Do with Kofi Coburn. You let him get this deep, it's game over. Catches at the charge circle, takes one dribble. Twice now, Northwestern should have closed it down. You're playing with fire, and they, they just cannot secure the defensive rebound. Something tells me that Kofi Coburn's going to get that double double today. Meaning that his defense was straight up, but not the call. I mean, multiple 50 50 balls, though, here. And I mean, he, he is totally right. Robbie Barron can't be any further. Over the top to Kofi this time. He collects and throws it down with authority. A frustration jam, and that gets Illinois on the board. A backboard. And when I talked to him today at practice, I reminded him that he hadn't done it. So look at the force and the power. Okay, he leads the league in assists, and you can see why. Probes the defense, gets in deep, and drops it off. Inside again, and how about a couple of and one opportunities for Kofi Coburn? Here in the first half, not surprised at the score. Coburn just too big and strong. Eight points now for Kofi. 9-0 burst, part of a 14-2 overall run. Coburn inside, and one more at the line. Left six-point lead for Illinois. They left to put four along the baseline and then run out. Hawkins almost had, they got it. Perfect. Gets it in. Grandison ahead. 
And now Frazier turns on the Jets, lob it up. Coburn! Big time flush! Goofy, Coburn with the big time. Send it in. In this game, but he's been called for three fouls. Here's a lob, and Kofi thunders it down. We get a Nebraska upset over Wisconsin to share the title with the Badgers. Hera inside, gets double, gets blocked. Out of bounds by Coburn. Or you live with the crazy bad stuff because the yeah. crazy good stuff is so enticing. Yeah, and you don't want to change him. It's part of his personality. It's his flair. Coburn gets it and slams it home. Dive, throw it up high. Trebello knows he's going to do it. In. It's a seven-point lead for Iowa with the first point of this half. A lob for Kofi and an easy slam off the feed from Frazier. The second layer of defense. Rebracha, you're too high. That's one bounce, and it's to the next dead ball will be immediate timer. That's right. He'll get his breather. Johnson driving. Coburn had enough energy for that one. And he knew as he sent it to the third row that he'd get a breather now because it's the timeout. <laughs>